So alongside the Asus ROG phone, I also got given the ROG Kunai gaming pad. Now this gamepad um, add-on will allow you to turn your ROG phone into essentially a full-on gaming rig uh, for when you're out and about. You have two options which I will now show you. Um, but you could also look at this as um, a Nintendo Switch alternative, obviously alongside a very, very powerful smartphone. So, without further ado, let's open it up. Before we do so, we've got some pictures of what we've actually got in the box here. But, we'll open the box itself and talk about it. So I have used a Nintendo Switch, I thought it was quite a cool idea. However, um, it was an extra gadget that I needed to have in order to game, which wasn't really um, the way I wanted to go. So this this could be a viable alternative for someone like me who doesn't want to have to have those two options. So first and foremost, on the top, when you take the lid off, you've got your controller, um, your, I suppose, they're very similar to Joy-Cons. Uh, they slide down the side of either the main controller unit or the bit I'll show you in a minute. Got lots and lots of buttons all over it. And it's got a little lighting strip down there which lights up. So that's the right hand side. It's also got a headphone jack on the bottom which is a nice touch. And that's the left hand side. Sorry, wrong way around. That's the right hand side. And that's the left hand side. So nothing down the bottom on this one. Again, lots of buttons. Very good clicky buttons. And there's your X, Y, and B, A buttons as well. And then in the middle here, we have our gaming grip or our game pad. Now this one has got select profile function and start and then an ROG button in the middle. The writing's very very small on those. But again you've got loads of extra buttons. And you've also got down the bottom a USB type A um, I'm assuming 2.4 gig Wi-Fi connection because up the top here you've got the option of having Bluetooth, USB or Wi-Fi connection. Now the reason they give you this is Asus also do a Y gig uh, con console style dock which you can plug your pop your phone into and that will plug into a HDTV. Now obviously I don't have that unfortunately. So we'll just put this together quickly just so you can see what it looks like when it's fully assembled. Um, size wise I would say a little bit smaller than an Xbox 360 controller but not too bad and all the buttons kind of fall in the right places including those little weird ones down there. So probably this is probably not the option I would go for. The option I would go for involves popping these off, moving that to the side and then opening up the back. Now this is the option I would probably go for. So this is a cradle for the phone and on the sides here you'll see we've got our connectors. We've also got a what looks to be a pass-through for a headphone jack although in reality I don't know how that would work because it's going to be covered off by that. So that goes in there. Pop the other end off. 
So it goes in there. So that is how you would hold all that together. Now if I just get the phone, we'll pop the phone into the middle. Now be warned, it is a tight fit. And now you can see we've got our green bar lighting up there. And just for complete thoroughness, I'm going to pop the active cooler on as well. So the active cooler. There we go. So the active cooler is down here. Pop that out. Now you do get given plenty of these little rubber bits. So if you lose one, it's not the end of the world. That slides out, pops in there, and there we go. You are now in full on gaming mode. So if I unlock this, we go into the armory. Straight away I felt the fan kick in there. So if we now try and select a game. And you can see how it's now asking me to try and configure. So I go into asphalt. We're now in gaming mode. Now I could plug in some headphones into that three and a half mil jack if I wanted to. I could also plug them in here or here, here as well, and I can also plug a charger in there as well. So we'll just quickly have a look at this. Now I'm still getting to grips with this controller, so bear with. It does still uh, require you to use a lot of the screen itself, so that's fairly normal for the course. One other thing I do want to say is the volume and the quality of the speakers on this is stunning. So you can see the joy pads, they work really well. And you get a nice vibration via the haptic feedback engine while playing games. Sorry, my camera rig seems to have uh, collapsed. So, sorry about that, my camera seemed, my DJI Go seems to have uh, died on me. But that is a brief overview of the ROG Kunai gaming setup. Show you that on the back as well. So, an alternative there for Nintendo Switch owners, or potential Nintendo Switch owners who want a very powerful gaming setup without having to spend the extra money. Um, the ROG Kunai is an optional accessory and I will put the price in the description below because I don't have that price available right now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you like it please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.